Hi, this is Ali Lami from Big Smoke Singa Kuwait. Today we're going to talk about how we're going to maintain your humility. We know we're going to talk about how we're going to maintain your humility. First of all, some people they have different kind of humility. Some of them they have high end, some of them medium end, and some of them uh, Chinese or whatever. Mostly, there is something in common and something is different. Some of them have a humidity and some of them have a humidity and some of them have a humidity. But all of them are under the things that are all together with each other, which is the protection of the people. There is a different kind of maintaining the humidity. If you have two or three humidity, it should be different than if you have one humidity. If you have one humidity, that means you're going to open it daily, so you don't need to uh, refresh the cigar, actually. Because normally, if you have a humidity, you need to breathe it out or uh, what's circulate the oxygen inside the humidor at least to not suffocate him because you are using the cigars. So you need to open it every week for 10 minutes. If you have a long term uh, uh, not using the, 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 the humidor or the cigar box. But if you have one humidor and use it daily, open it daily, you don't need to do that. So if I come in the humidor واحد, ما يحتاج إنك تفتحه عشان تسوي له بريدي بس إذا كان عندك أكثر من هيو مدر وواحد يضل فترة طويلة فيفترض إنك أنت تعطي بريدي every كل أسبوع عشر دقايق يتغير السيركوليشن الأوكسجين أي for another thing how we can how we maintain our هيو مدر actually first thing Every three, four months, you need to get your cigars outside. If you have a big humidity room with plenty of cigars, first thing, I will get my cigar out. I call my cigar in Kila Barra. Like this. I will choose one cigar. I didn't smoke today. Okay, so we get the humidor empty, remove the humidification system, and then with a clean cotton cloth, I'm going to wipe all the humidor from inside. Because actually, cedar is bleeding. What's a bleed? It will make like a, a surface on the wood. So you need to remove it every three, four months. Some people may say this is the aroma. No, the aroma is inside. But cedar wood, exactly, and most of the humidor are cedar wood. Definitely not rosewood and other. If the rosewood will be different. But cedar, they are bleeding. So you need to remove all the surface. You will wipe it all like this with a clean cotton, not leaving any trace. All of it from the inside. A humidor, the earth or cedar. يقولوا إذا إذا أو إنه بليدين إذا يطلع صار عليه سيرس فأنت تحتاج كل ثلاث أربع شهور تمسحه بالكامل عشان تشيل السيرس هذا اللي بعد مثل ما أنا قاعد أسوي أنا then you're gonna take your humidifier again. There is different kind of a humidifier. If your humidor is a Prometheus, so you need to add little what they call it the solution every three four months, 
for the humidifier. It's like regeneration for the humidifier and uh, activating and uh, cleaning from the fungus or anything or any any germs inside it. It's like what precaution. Every few months you can use this one for the promotion humidor only. If you don't, if your humidor is a normal one, you don't need to do that. You will put it again. And then, when I'm going to return my cigars, I will put it over step by step. طبعا إذا اليوم إذا مالك بروموتيس يحتاج تستخدم السلوشن هذا وضيف له مثل رد ريجينيريشن حق الهيوميديفاير إذا لا رجيم ده فرع عقدي ما يحتاج طبعا أنت لو سويت له دراي أو if you if you dry if you if you wipe the humidity sometimes you need little bit seasoning you can use this one actually I'm not promoting the Zycar you can use any proper what they call propylene glycol solution uh, any brand you can use, but I, I always use Zyka. So you can use it for the humidifier system. Use the uh, propylene glycol, it's the better anti fungus and keeping your humidifier fresh. Diamond is definitely with Zyka or any brand thing if you propylene glycol. Maintain your humidification and uh, keep your humidifier fresh and no problem with it. So we fix the humidifier, then what I'm going to do? I'm going to return my cigar again. So what I'm going to do? I'm going to use a special brush because also my cigar will have some, if I'm, my humidifier is very good, they will have some what they call salt powder on it. Not fungus, salt powder. White crystal on it. If you are aging your cigar, you can keep it. But we are talking about uh, regular use of cigar. If you want to use a cigar, it's not bad. But it's important if you want to use it, so we like it. What are you going to do like that? Brush it. Brush it all, everything, remove everything with this kind of brush. Any kind of what they call it. This is what they call it, horse tail brush or whatever the name. And return it back. One by one. Remove all the crystals from it and reveal them one by one. So we need to the brush. It's not how it shake, shake, shake. I will pull it off, shake it, and turn it out. I don't use Kleenex, I don't use fabric, I use a very, very delicate brush to brush my cigars. I return them very nice, freshly clean, everything, and return back to the humidor. After I clean the humidor and fix my humidifier, cigars, this procedure should be done every two or three months and keep your humidor very nice, very clean. You keep your cigar also very clean and maintain in very great condition. Normally, uh, the, t the temperature and uh, the humidity it varies from different country to a country. In Kuwait, we always keep it from 18. To 90 maximum as a temperature and humidity it should be 69, 68, and that will keep your cigar in a, a very, very good condition. And you will enjoy smoking it when you take it out, fresh, clean, and everything. Make this a habit every three, four months. I clean my humidor, the surface from inside from the bleeding, if my humidor is seeded. If it's otherwise, this, this procedure will not be have just normal cleaning, but the cigar in every humidor, cedar or oak or rosewood, it will have a crystal. I need to remove it with a brush. Then I return my cigar inside the box and everything will be okay. Return my humidor again, close it, keep it in a cold place, enjoy my smoke 
and uh, everything will be okay. I th I think this is uh, this is my opinion. This is my idea how I can maintain my humidity in a good condition for long, long, long term. I use this at home with my cigars every three, four months. I have a humidor that I'm not going to open it daily, so I need to do it for this humidor. For the humidor, I'm not opening it daily. I open it every week for 10 minutes to circulate my cigar, the air, it will be not suffocating and close again. For the regular humidor, it's already open again, but also need to be cleaned from time to time. دائماً أنا أستخدم هذه الطريقة إذا عندي humidor ما أفتح دائماً على طول أسوي له breathing every كل أسبوع عشر دقائق وسكرة والcleaning كل ثلاث تشر إلى أربع تشر maximum أسوي نفس الطريقة اللي وضحتها لي معاكم والأستخدم دائماً البرش ما أستخدم خرجة لتنظيف سيجاري أستخدم دائماً البرش ناعمة ما تأثر على السيرفت شيء الكريستال بس ما تخلي لي أي شيء على السيجار مالي وهذه أفضل طريقة This is the best way to keep your humidor and your cigar in a, a good condition Always use the, pro uh, always use the, pro uh, the propylene glycol solution From my experience it was very nice and it is keeping my humidifier in a good condition This is only for the promoters and every promoter clients knows that the solution and they have it just for reminding I'm saying that other humidors you can do the normal the normal procedure I said the humidorator thania you can cut the nasal tarira and you can use any solution if you decide to use the proper uh, the proper guy for, for that I hope this video will be helpful in how you maintain your humidor the humidor and the humidifier and your cigars and how you clean them if uh, any question, I will be happy to answer them. Uh, any comments, I will be happy also to answer them. I hope uh, all I cover all the how you maintain your humidor. This is Ali Alami from Big Smoke Cigar Kuwait. Thank you very much. See you in another video. Assalamu.